So I want to talk about striving and art, and I think it'll be a good applicable thing for us to discuss uh, as artists and hopefully inspiring for those of you who are doing illustration, graphic design, maybe you're working on cartooning like I am, like a lunatic. Um, <laughs> And uh, maybe you're just an aspiring artist and uh, will find this useful, so stick around. All right, before we get into the topic, I'm just gonna ask the typical favor that I always ask when we do these topics on these vloggings. Um, and that is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, right? Hit the like button first, it takes two seconds. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notifications when we're about to go live. That helps these videos, and uh, it's a nice way to help me out. Um, I'm providing free content almost daily on this channel, and uh, so I just ask that if you enjoy this stuff or you're subscribed already, just, yeah, do me a solid, hit that like button. Also, consider picking up my books. If you haven't yet, Jacob's Apartment and Two Stories are two books that I'm really proud of. I worked really hard on. They're about a half a day, half a decade, not half a decade, each of work. And so uh, you should uh, check that out, half a decade. All right, that mispronunciation will actually tie into the topic of striving. So let's get into it. I uh, talked about this on stream a little bit ago, but um, one of my favorite books of the Bible is a book called Ecclesiastes. It's an amazing book. It talks about kind of the struggle of being human, and uh, and it, it has applicable things that just go across philosophies. Um, when I reapproached faith um, from coming from the standpoint of an atheist. Um, I found that book to be very compelling, the book of Ecclesiastes. It was just, uh, it spoke so much truth um, about reality, about the nature of life, about the nature of trying for things, um, that it, it, it I, I, I feel if I have to pick a favorite book of my own faith, that's my favorite book. And a couple people in chat were like, what? <laughs> and even arguing with um, some of the things uh, said in it, even, even, even though some of those people were believers. And so it was just a weird scenario, but it also got me thinking about striving and the fact that striving is so essential to art. And uh, Ecclesiastes talks all about striving and it talks about um, how pretty much most of what you're doing in life is striving after wind. Um, you know, and so anyhow, I don't want to just tie this with Ecclesiastes. There's also, um, you know, Shakespeare talked about this stuff. You know, I, I quote it in two stories where it's like tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day till all our yesterdays have lighted fools away to dusty death. And, uh, that whole soliloquy, uh, talks about how absurd it is sometimes that we as human beings are striving. We're striving for stuff. We're striving for more money or we're striving for a better job or we're striving for better art or we're striving to get better as artists or we're striving to get better fit and more productive. And, um, and we're constantly doing this striving. And sometimes, you know, in life, the, the question will come up, like, is the striving worth it? Is the striving worthwhile? And there's always a temptation to kind of give in to despair and not continue striving. I want to make the argument that art is valuable and that the striving is worthwhile. And that's, that's the whole purpose of this, uh, this conversation. I am exhausted. I woke up super early uh, today to work on comics. And then, um, and, and I mean like three in the morning early. I didn't quite make my goal. My goal was to try to make a, um, 
a rough of a page and I only got through two panels. It felt like a failure at the time. Um, I went to work and today was my Friday, even though it's Thursday, because I've accrued so much vacation time at my work that I either take a day or I lose it. And I decided, you know what? I'm requesting Friday off. It's a catch up day. That way all this striving I can continue to do to get my graphic novel done. For those of you who might be tuning in, tu tuning in for the first time, I'm working on a graphic novel called Not Death But Love, The Strange Supernatural Story of Elizabeth Barrett Browning, and it's a big book project, at least for me. Um, and I need to carve at it a lot. I need to hit it pretty hard. And uh, anyhow, so today I just felt the exhaustion of striving, where I felt super tired um, uh, at work. I felt uh, super defeated after my my day of trying, and I was thinking about the striving, the fact that it feels like striving. It feels like fighting against uh, a. A torrent of wind that's like that that's blowing against uh, me, <laughs> and it, it's like it's like this. Sometimes you can feel like you're walking on an escalator, and and the escalator is going backwards, and you're trying to move forward, and you're trying to make progress, and yet every step you take, you're a little further back. <laughs> that's kind of how it feels at the current point that I'm at on my project. But then I remembered that every graphic novel I've ever done has felt this way. Um, that almost everything I've done that was worthwhile in art has felt this way. That often parenting feels that way. And that easily is the best decision I've made in my life, was the decision my wife and I had to have our son. And uh, quite often, you know, in parenting, you feel like you have moments where you feel like, am I even, <laughs> like, like you feel like you're kind of moving backwards. You're like, oh, we were making so much progress and now it's backwards. Um, marriage can feel like that. Um, life can feel like that, you know, where you're like, man, we finally paid off the car and then the car got totaled and now we have to go through a whole purchasing a car thing again. It... Anything worthwhile in life is striving. And um, at, at, I think that, like, my favorite part of Ecclesiastes is not the part that talks about, ah, it's all striving after wind um, and, and therefore nihilistic or something in, in the conclusion. The thing I like about that book is it points out the reality of that. Like, yeah, like right now, in reality, I'm striving to make a book that's going to be printed on paper that maybe three people will buy. <laughs> that's just the reality of it. And I'm striving at my workplace to do a good job, you know, at a, at a job that I feel is important. But at the end of the day, we're making, you know, souvenirs. Um... But to me, it feels really important, and I do care about it. And so, you know, one has to question when they're in that scenario, and I don't think this is just me, um, is it worthwhile doing all this striving? And I have to say, the reason I like Ecclesiastes is the solution at the end, which is that there is almost nothing better in life than to just work and enjoy, enjoy your toil under the sun because that, that's what we're designed to do. We're designed to make things. And I, I sincerely believe that. Um, Marshall Lee, a friend of mine on YouTube, uh, constantly talks about that we were created to be creative. And I agree with that concept. I think that whatever reason we're here, we're meant to make things. And uh, I personally believe it's just a reflection of, of how we were put here. Like, I think we were made. 
and we reflect the maker by making. Um, you don't have to agree with that take on it. So just acknowledge the fact that like, guess what? Like you're going to, if you're an artist and you have the bug to create, you're gonna have that bug to create. And part of that process of creating is the striving. It's the walking backwards on an escalator. It's kind of embracing that. It's embracing the failures. Um, the failure that I had this morning was a better success than had I not worked on my comic. Because I still got part of what I needed to get done, done. I just didn't get as much as I wanted to get done, done. And why does that matter? Because I want to get it done. <laughs> That's why it matters. And because I'm gonna to be toiling anyway. So if I'm gonna to be toiling, I should be toiling and enjoying my toil, right? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys will find that interesting. I am really excited about getting home so I can take a power nap and then tonight do Artcasters. There's a special episode of Artcasters tonight where I'll be talking to Jim Lujan, um, to Corey Kerr, and, uh, and to Gary Hodges, and to Scott Circland. It's a full house. And uh, we're getting the band back together. And we're gonna talk about progress on, on projects. And it's gonna be about beginning, middle, and end of a project, of a big project, and what that's like. I think it'll be good because I am really in the thick of it and I'm thinking about these things a lot and there is a psychological game to getting work done, especially ambitious work, but it's worth it and you have to be, believe it's worth it to get them done and I will say having done a few of them, it's worth it. So. Yeah, hopefully that's helpful. If you're out there striving, um, you're probably on the right path. If you're working on art and it's not a struggle at all, you, you might need to question what you're doing <laughs> in all reality because it should be striving. Um, we're meant to toil. If it's not toil, I don't know. I might kind of question whether you, I don't know. I'd, I'd have to see the work. Maybe the work's good, maybe not. So, if you're out there and you're striving, good job. You're an artist, welcome to the club. And I will see you guys on the next uh, vloggins. And I'm really tired, so I'm probably gonna get some sleep. If you haven't yet, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications when you're about to go live. And if you're curious to kind of hang out Make sure you catch the live streams. You know, the art casters, we record those live. So you can show up and hang out in the chats and uh, ask questions and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. That's my thoughts. I'll see you guys on the next vloggings. Bye.